Um, this is an introduction to normal balances, and so clearly we're talking about debits and credits and, and what, what's their role in normal balances, how are they reflected. So we'll start with debits. So what do we use debits for? Debits are used um, to indicate an increase in an asset, and they're also used to in, uh, indicate a decrease in a liability or a decrease in owner's equity. So therefore the normal balance of an asset is a debit. Credits are used to record an increase in liabilities and an increase in owner's equity. They're also used to record a reduction in assets. So therefore the normal balance of a liability, sorry, the normal, the normal balance of a liability is a credit and the normal balance of owner's equity is a credit. So normal balance of an asset is a debit, normal balance of a liability is a credit. Let's look at owner's equity in a bit more detail because owner's equity has a number of components and these components will expand as time goes on but they include the rev revenues, expenses and drawings. So it's not just the owner's equity balance, not just the um, uh, owner's initial investment in the business which was their equity but as they make sales, revenue and as they spend money their equity will change and if they draw money out of the business it will change. So owner's equity has a normal balance of a credit, which we've already established. And anything that increases owner's equity will also have a normal balance of a credit. So this means your revenue will have a normal balance of a credit. However, anything that reduces owner's equity will have a normal balance of a debit. So expenses will have a normal balance of a debit. Drawings will have a normal balance of a debit. So expenses and drawings have the same normal balance as assets. Let me look at a common misconception and it's, this seems to help a lot of people to clarify this point so I've said that the normal balance of an asset is a debit but you pick up your bank statement and it shows your balance as a credit so what is the issue we're facing here right out we need to understand this that your bank statement is written from the perspective of your bank and from the perspective of your bank they owe you money so it's just like how bank statements come it's you know um, it's like you going into the bank and saying look I want to know um, how much money I've got in here so they get out their records and in your and in their records they go to your account and it says credit because that's what they owe you so from the bank's perspective, what they owe you is a liability, and so it's reported as a credit. But to you, it's an asset. So from your perspective, money you have in the bank is a debit. So a few things about writing journals. So when writing a journal entry, debits indicate an increase in an asset. Debits indi indicate a reduction in a liability or a debit in, is used to indicate a reduction in owner's equity. And a reduction in owner's equity happens for drawings and expenses. So again, we're coming back to the same normal balance. The normal balance of an asset is a debit. Debit entries, some other important features, are written on the left. So when you write a journal entry or in your general ledger, your debit entries will be in the left hand column. Debit entries are also written first in journal entries. And also remember all journals have at least one debit and one credit. So in review, um, this takes us back to the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And we see that the normal balance of an asset is a debit, the normal balance of a liability is a credit, and the normal balance of owner's equity is a credit.